Hey, what up, fellas? We are out here early in the morning. Sun right back there. And we got a big old box of lures, but also we got the cast net and the bait bucket. Plan is to slay a bunch of fish on the lures early. And then if we need to, we'll, we'll pull out the cast net and start catching them with some live bait. Man, we're in a super interesting spot right here. There's tons of freaking mullet everywhere. And I'm telling you, there's gonna be some fish. See, do you see them? Do you see them? They're right, they're right there and there. I have to say this video is sponsored by Fish Brain. Now let's get in there with some top water. I think that'll work. It's got some, a little bit of rusty hooks on it, but should still hook them. <gasps> see dude, I was gonna walk right there, but there's a freaking stingray. Ah, stingray. There's so many dude. There's actually so many stingrays out here. I've already seen like five, and look how far we are from the boat. Oh, shit, man, take me by the hand, lead me to the land that you understand. Oh, shit, man, the voyage to the corner of the globe is a real trip. Oh, shit, man, the crust of a ten man and by by the sand, soaking up the of the land ocean man can I see through the wonder of amazement at the open man ocean man crust is a little switch up spots man it's just <laughs> too many stingers right here we'll try moving down probably still stingers over there but hopefully less you know what I mean here's the secret box of lures you know your boy has to go with the down south lure huh they were hitting the top water, but I think if we throw on a soft plastic, we're about to get a lot more bites. I mean, look at that guy. Isn't that a good looking guy? Some people don't like the bone color of it, but I like bone. It's a good color, I think. Now let's prove it by catching a whopper. There he is. Oh, there he is. There's our guy. <laughs> it's a giant. Get him in. Get him to the boat. Oh my gosh, he's putting up a crazy fight, as you can see. That is what we're after right there. Oh, we gotta get a pick of this guy. All right, we're logging this absolute heifer of a fish into fish brain. One cool, really cool thing about fish brain is it can auto detect the species. I really, I really enjoy that. Most of the time, it gets it right too. 80% speckled trout. True, and it's correct. <laughs> you know what, we didn't measure that guy, but We'll say, we'll give it, we'll give it a 12. Another the cool thing is you can log all the gear that you caught it on. And what we caught it on was the down south lure in bone. Good thing about fish brain too, is it does use the GPS to tell you where you caught the fish, but I don't want anyone to know about my super secret stingray spot. So we are gonna put that on private. So we don't share our super secret spot. Another cool thing about Fish Brain Pro is you can see where people are catching fish. And if you're gonna be fishing a particular water, you can scout out that water beforehand just by searching it up. Let's say you were gonna fish Humble Channel. You can go to Humble Channel. And something really cool is you can check out the top baits for the area so you know what you wanna bring with you. You can even sort it by month if you want to. And look at that right there. We got the down south lure, exactly what we brought with us today. But we all are also seeing some top water for the redfish. That's what we tried earlier and we could not find the redfish. But also we're seeing lots, lots of shrimp baits. And I'm telling you, that's our next thing we're gonna be using. We got the shrimp lure, the DOA shrimp tied up on the popping cork and that's what we're gonna be trying next. But hey, if you're interested in fish brain, make sure to check out the link in the description below. <laughs> in my life, dude, I've never seen this level of stingrays. Every five steps, I saw a different stingray. I probably saw 50 stingrays and we haven't even been here that long. It's absurd, man. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can wade this spot just with the level of stingrays. Usually I'm not too scared of them, but if there's this many, it just increases the chances big time of getting hit. And right when I got out the boat, I kind of felt like I got hit. But you know what? Let's switch up spots and try out the DOA shrimp. to the land that you understand. Oh, man. My last spot was absolute trash. So we moved 20 miles away to a completely different city. And we're going to try this spot out. I did pick up some live shrimp. Check out what we got in the box. We got some mullet that we cast net, but we also got some live shrimp in there. Those are some juicy, juicy looking baits. I got sunscreen on my hand, 
so hopefully it doesn't kill him. Yeah, one thing I gotta show you guys too is this popping cork that I found on the flats just floating around about two years ago. I never used it, but I think we're gonna bust it out for some live bait today. Check out this puppy right here. The pink machine. It's a big old pink popping cork. And look at this right here. We got a pink skull up top for good luck. Let's go see what we can do. We're gonna go get them. Unlike earlier. <laughs> Huh. You know what I might do first? I might might throw on a D-Way shrimp. And then after that, if we don't get any bites or we do get bites, we'll try some live bait. Let's see which one works better. Thing about this popping cork, I never really used it much because it's just super heavy. It makes a huge splash and you need a heavier rod to cast it. But we do have a heavier rod, so I decided to use it today. We'll try it out. Like I said, I'm kind of afraid on that huge splash since it's so heavy scares away some fish but you never know it might actually attract them what I do like about it more than my oval poppers I usually use <laughs> it's, a din it's a dinker sorry my drag's really loose dang that's good first cast first fish don't tell it don't tell Drew or he'll be mad he'll say we're not gonna catch any more fish the whole day but I think we will but what I do like about this more than oh not a bad not a bad one maybe 15 maybe 14 maybe 13 maybe, oof boom see a fella is that this popping cork actually has a little cup at the top so it will make kind of a deeper ploop a deeper plop a deeper pop and that is something that I think does attract more fish <laughs> now I'm hyping this cork up big time there he is got the hook set on that guy for sure this might be another more decent one we just came off this dirtier water over here. Right when we get onto the clear water, we get a nice bite. Man, this might be a decent one, boys. This is the one. Oh my God, it's a nice one. Let's go, oh my gosh, dude. Who needs the live bait? Who needs it? This is a nice one, but he's a skinny boy. Not very spotty either. Huh? All right, there's our first for sure keeper. He's a skinny boy, so we're gonna let him go. But dude, that's a decent one. A little flippy flopper. We got a lot of time to work here too. I think we're gonna get a few decent ones. Look at that, dude. The DOA shrimp, man. How much have I been talking about the DOA shrimp, especially this clear one lately? spot boys we got to get them right here oh what is this <gasps> accidentally hooked a, a kind of nice one. Oh my gosh dude I know this spot was <laughs> A possibility to catch something. Let's go. That's a keeper, boys. Let's go, dude. That's what I'm talking about. The spot we're fishing is it, it's just it's a huge turtle grass flat, super shallow. You can see it down here, and right through it, there's one little cut in here. And sometimes the trout are stacked up, dude. You know what? There can be some reds in here too. Can be some reds. Let's see, dude. This cut is magic. It's the magic cut. I'm telling y'all. I'm not gonna lie, dude. The flat we were fishing, it was so good. Like midday, after that, nothing. I mean, maybe a few dinkers, but that's it. Right now, we're coming into sunset already. So, this was my last Hail Mary spot. And it looks like it's, it has the possibility of paying off. There he is. That might be, oh, it's a freaking flat boy. No way, on the down south. Oof. That's a keeper too, boys. Ah. <laughs> freaking flat boy, no way. Oh man, that's what I'm talking about, dude. That's what I'm talking about. I 
told you, you never know what you can catch in the secret cut of dreams. Boom, I can't believe it, boys. The flat boy. We're killing, we're killing it now. Oh my God, that's a turtle. Oh, what is that? That's a red baby. Oh my God, dude, I saw something giant swim away and another guy is behind it. Okay, it's not giant, but it's bigger than these dinker trout. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Are we gonna get the slam, baby? Are we slamming it up, boys? With the Texas slam? I think we're about to get it. This might be the first time I've ever caught a slam on a video. I made the snap decision to come to the secret cut and it paid off. Big time, big time, baby. Oh my God, this is the dream. I'm so happy, dude. Uh, I, was, I was struggling today, boys, struggling. You guys thought I was gonna lose them, didn't you? Well, it just goes to show, a couple of fish can save the day right there. We got lucky with the Texas Slam. Even, even if none of these guys are big ones, they're all decently sized fish, but you know what? They're all keepers. So what else do you want? All right, it is time to flay these suckers up. But first off, we're gonna do the test. All right, we got a pop quiz for you. We're gonna see if you guys can guess how long each of these fish are, starting off with the redfish. If you get all three of these right, you're a god, a fishing god. First off, redfish. Guess, what do you guess that guy is? Well, it's 23, so you're wrong. Next up, we got the beautiful flat boy. He's looking, he's looking pretty small there, right? Keeper size is only 14. What is he? Wrong, it's 15. And finally, we got the meager speckled trout. Not a giant one. What do you guess on that guy right there? Man, you're still wrong. This is a seven, 17 incher. But before we start cutting these fish up, let's log that flounder so we can remember where and when we caught them. And we can also remember the conditions. Look at this guy. What an amazing pick. 15 incher and we actually got this guy on the down south lure. I'm even gonna put what reel I got that fish on. So if you wanna check it out, you can check out my fish frame, Thresher Fishing. Now start cutting these suckers right here. Let's cut them up. All right, fellas, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take one fillet from each fish and we're gonna grill them up and make some fish tacos. All right, so first up, we're gonna be marinating our fillets for about 20 or 30 minutes. We got some olive oil, cumin, paprika, chili powder, and of course, my man, Cayenne. And we're gonna add those all into a mixing bowl and then we're gonna put them in a plastic baggie with our fillets. And like I said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one fillet from each of these fish, probably probably two fillets for the flounder since they're cut in half. And uh, we're gonna put them in a fish taco and see which one tastes the best. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of a bad comparison because we are putting very strong seasonings on them, but you know what? I think in the end, they might all taste similar. There's your trout fillet, little flounder fillet, and then we got the big dog redfish filet. All into the bag and then we add our marinade. We got our marinating filets ready to go in the fridge and while we're letting the charcoal outside heat up on the grill, uh, we're gonna make some white sauce to top off these tacos. All right, for the white sauce, you can add pretty much whatever you want, but something you do need is the sour cream, probably some limes, and you know what, we're gonna add a little bit of uh, spice to it as well. Sour cream and then we're in with the lime juice. And then finally, a little bit of cayenne in there. Just a little bit, not too much. All right, we got the grill preheated and we're gonna go straight on, first of all, with the redfish because it is the biggest filet. We're gonna stagger it so they finish close, close to the same time. Redfish will definitely take the longest. Woo. Next up, we got a speckled trout filet. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. And finally, let's get our flat boy fillets going. It's smelling quite nice. Quite nice. And now we commence the construction of these tacos. First guy up we're gonna be using, you know we gotta go with the flounder first up. A little bit of cabbage, a little bit of cabbage, cabbage on there. And you already know we gotta put some cotija cheese right on top. You got to. You know what you know what would be nice too is if we had a little bit of cilantro, but we don't we just don't have any. It's just the way it goes. And there you have it right there. We got flounder fish taco, redfish fish taco, and a trout fish taco. Now let's see how these guys taste. 
Like I said, I think, I'm thinking they're gonna be tasting pretty similar. That's not such a bad thing though, is it? I made a grave error, forgot to add the pico, but now it's on there. It's gonna be way better now, <laughs> even better. Well, even though the day started off as a little bit of a grind, we did end up getting the slam. And let me tell you, I'm kind of addicted to some inshore fishing now. What about you guys? Are you guys also addicted to some inshore fishing right now? Man, all I want to do is get out on the boat, maybe the kayak on the flats, chase some reds and trout. And don't forget to check out the link down there in the description to get 30% off a quarterly subscription to Fish Brain. I love you guys very much. We'll see you guys next time. Lead me to the land that you understand. Ocean man, voyage to the corner of the globe is a real trip. Ocean man, the crust of a ten.